Hey uh, you six people out there, how you doing? I hope you're doing pretty good, damn good. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to make a really cool burger patty. So here we have some quality mints from the bar, uh, from the butcher. Um, I got this actually from a bowls club because it was a meat raffle and this is what I got. So, I'm going to be making the ultimate cheeseburger, so I'll cut this bit in half here. So we're going to make two burgers, two patties, cut it in half. So you, sometimes you like to, to form it together you need, sometimes you need like breadcrumbs, but I don't have any. So we're just going to use cheese instead, and an egg. So, what we'll do first is we will um, just... You must just like, yeah, do this. Like, make sure it like flat it, flatten it out on on the on the board. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, flatten it out on the board. Like this. Put a little bit of a hole in the middle, like this. Just like so. That's where the egg's gonna go, right? So, grab an egg. And I believe these eggs are from my brother's place. So, just get your, get your fucking hands in there. Squish it up. All right, doesn't matter if you get your hands dirty. Oop. Crack another egg in there. I don't need that egg in there. Mess it up. Alright, so this is where you don't put the cheese in yet. You want to try and get that egg to go through the. I'm just going to wash my hand real quick anyway. Now, uh, kind of want to fold the egg into the. like this. Make it all nice and gooey. Because what the egg will do is it will, in the end, you might have to squeeze out some of the, the like the yolk, not the yolk, but the, um, the other bit, the other egg, the white bit of the egg. Because it is a bit runny. Jeez, it's really runny, isn't it? Anyway, no matter. This is my way. It'll, it'll come out really nice in the end. Alright, so squish that back down. It's all mixed, that one's all mixed through. So we'll do the same to this one. We'll mix it through. Get it all into the patty. Alright. Into a bowl. It's a bit gross, isn't it? It's gross. Ew. Looks like I threw up. No, I'm just joking. Alright, now this is, I'm just going to try and put side by side here. Alright, now this is where we need to use the seasoning. So we'll put the seasoning through the burger. And we're going to use a pizza topper. This goes like, it's just got like um, herbs in it. And then some garlic powder and some Cajun seasoning which is open I think yeah is it no it's not I haven't used this yet so just a Cajun seasoning oh smells good all right we'll put that on last so we put some garlic in there uh, yeah okay always always gets stuck Wrong side. There we go. Alright, get some garlic in there. Get some garlic in there. Alright, that'll do. Get some pizza topper in there. Yep. 
Doesn't matter if you make a mess. That'll do. And then some Cajun seasoning. I wish I did have some, um, that'll do. I wish I did have some, um, we will, we will use some salt as well. Uh, and some pepper. Next thing to do is to then fold it through again. But this time, we're going to fold it through with some cheese. Just going to sprinkle some cheese there. On top. Right, that should do it. And this is lactose free cheese, so um, it's good for me. Uh, I'm gonna grab this and just kind of like plant it in to the thing and then try I'm going to try and do this and kind of like flip it up like so squish it back down again oh it's going to stick to that fucking thing wish I had a flat one All right. Grab that. Oh, that's pretty perfect. Oh, I don't. Fix it up a little bit. Alright, so we'll do that one. We'll do that to that to this one as well. Alright, get that over there. Fold it in. Get that. Fold that in. Oh, nice. Alright. Get that uh, folded in. Alright, that's pretty good. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get some glad wrap. Get some glad wrap. Oh, come on. Can't even grab it. There we go. Get a piece of that. Rip it off. So what I'm going to do is get the glad wrap. Put it there and then grab that, put it on the glide wrap, there we go, a little bit more of that, and then what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it up, wrap it up, and then that'll go into the, that, that'll go into the fridge, just like that, um, to, to just set um, so I need, what do I just do with the, oh, it's here, <laughs> do the same thing with that one. Alright, I wish I had a bigger kitchen, can't wait to uh, build my new house, and the kitchen will be awesome. Alright, so let's. Get all that under there. I wish I had breadcrumb. It would have stuck way better, but I didn't have any. So I have to deal. Alright, so let's get that like that. And this, this, and this. 
will go into the fridge for a couple of hours before I start cooking. So we'll be back in a little bit to cook and um, make the burger and then we're going to air fry it which is going to be awesome. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all fry in the fry pan on each side for at least a minute and a half, at least brown it off and then put it in the burger. Well, it's still going to be raw in the middle just a little bit, but put it in the um, air fryer for five minutes and it'll be nice and crispy on the outside, beautiful on the inside. Cheeseburger, ultimate cheeseburger, coming your way. Welcome back and we're about to start the cooking process. Just a splash of oil. Okay, that should be hot as. And just pray to God it stays together. So I'm going to do it for about two minutes on each side. Maybe two and a bit. Maybe I won't have bacon. Not having bacon. I thought about it and then I thought, nah. This will do. So we've got about a minute left before we flip it. I'm going to flip it on the timer. I'm watching the timer on the camera, so I'm going to flip it when it gets to about 5.50, which is in about 10 seconds left then. Okay. All right. Give it a flip. That looks great. And we're going to go for another two minutes. All right, turn off the heat. Put that on plate. Put that on that so it doesn't get more smoky in here. All right, it's time to assemble the burger uh, without the salad. So what we're going to do is, and without the sauce and all that, so what we're going to do is grab a bun, grab 
like this. Um, grab this and cut in half. Okay. Give it a butter. Now what I do when I butter a bun is I go like this, thick on one side, I move it over to this side, I squeeze it down, and it kind of kind of butters the other side. So there you go. Look, there you go. Butter on one side. Don't have to use two loads of spoonfuls of butter. Anyway, okay, so what we're gonna do, uh, which one's the top, what's the top, what's the bottom? This will be the bottom. So we're gonna do cheese. Yeah. I know this has already got cheese in it. But, we want more cheese. I want that square. Oh, perfect. And then we want more cheese on top. Just like so. Actually, no we don't. <laughs> I forgot. Uh, so, we, what we are going to do though, is we're going, that's not, this is not the burger, this is not the finished project. Pro, pro, project. What we're going to do now is we're going to move this over to the air fryer. So, now, this is going to cook it the rest of the way, and it's just going to get, it's just going to lay in, it's just going to lay, oh god, what have I done, it's just going to lay in here, like this, go in here, alright, it's going to turn on, and then what we want to do is we want to power, we want the timer to go to 5 minutes, and we want it at a hundred or oh, two hundred degrees. No, oh, no, one hundred and eighty. I mean, and we want to do that for five minutes. Uh, while we're doing that, we'll come back over and we'll um, start cutting up the vegetables and stuff for the burger itself. Oh, you know what I've forgotten? To get out of the fridge. The gherkins. Well, the pickles. Uh, no, I probably still need that. Alright. So, that's quite clean anyway. We can put that back. Cutting board. Alright, I need this knife. And we're going to cut up Eight of the, uh, sorry, four of these. Oh, not that one. That one can be mine. So one, two, three, four. That's done. We're gonna at least try and get two slices of this tomato. Uh oh, I just. Oh. Why do you have to be so blunt? No, we're only gonna get one. I think. I'll try another one. Oh, come on, knife. Oh, I don't know what it'll do. Shitty fucking tomato. It was actually nice. It was actually not, not that bad. I might have a little bit of salt on that. Oh, this is what we used to do as kids. We'd get a shitty fucking cut, whatever. It's one, it's one. Anyway, we used to get some salt you put some salt on there like that and eat it wait fuck you can't even see me like <laughs> hello let me eat it mmm brings back memories mmm that's good all right, come back down. So I'm just gonna 
pick a few of my favourite lettuce leaves in here and put them on the burger once we get there. Once we get to that stage, right, there's, there's a good one. I think no. And that. Oh good. This lettuce is kind of going off a bit. Used by the 11th of December. Oh, it's like the 8th or something, isn't it? I don't know. It doesn't smell good. I mean, what do you do? What can you do? Alright, so the next... Um, so I'm going to do... Um, like McDonald's usually do. Um, a mustard, American mustard and tomato sauce. I usually use... Um, more... Not with burgers, like, I usually use, like, garlic aioli and barbecue sauce, but being this is a cheeseburger, um, the, the natural way of doing it, especially with these burger pickles, uh, burger pickles, they are the ones that you get on the Maccas, they're fucking amazing, they taste and smell exactly, oh my god, that smell, it's just amazing love pickles. Alright, I'm going to put the butter away. Um, I've still got one more piece of cheese to use. So I'll put the cheese away and the butter away. Alright. So, there we go. Now you can see properly. We have cheese, the four cucumbers, the tomato and the lettuce. And here we go, I'll just go and grab it. So what we're gonna do now, is we're gonna take that off, and that's <laughs> nice and crunchy now. Um, and that that piece of meat there is stuck to the that, so I don't have to move it. So we'll, we'll go with the lettuce on there, with the and then a tom the tomato. Uh, then we go the four, Of those. Okay. Then we're going to go cheese. Okay. And then we'll go the mustard. And tomato sauce. Just like so. The gherkins. Now I want to grab a couple of those. Put it on top. That'll do. Four. We don't need any salt or pepper because we've already salt and peppered the burger itself. Um, and there we have it. So we just need to then plump that over to there and you have an awesome burger. So let's now put this on here like so. Perfect. Just take that bit off, and it's really crunchy. Um, and take a, another photo of it. Which side do we want the photo? There we go. So let's go. Yep. So there we have it. An awesome burger. Awesome. Oh, Jesus, I went too far up, didn't I? So there we go. There's the burger for us. I should. I should really make some ch fries with this, but what we're going to do now is we're going to cut it in half. That's the next part of this, because I want to see, and I'm going to cut it on a diagonal, because I like, I like things on diagonal, because it's easier to eat, especially when it, with someone who has a beard. Um, if you cut it square, you got to bite into it, and when you bite into it, it all gets into your beard. If you have it on a diagonal, you can start from the corner and eat it. So, oh, crunch. Listen to that crunch. Alright, so, let's pick it up, and there we have that is perfectly cooked and smells amazing
there we have it there we have it and all the cheese that's running through um, we've also got that cheese that's with the uh, sorry we've all the cheese running through the cheese that's dripping through is coming through really nicely that was in the burger itself then you have the two slices of cheese one on top that got made this stick to that burger there and the cheese that's through the um, the salad as well with the lettuce, tomato and, and cucumber and also the pickles that are on there too I can't wait to bite into it actually I am going to bite into it on the camera itself just so you guys can it, I'm get you know be like Matt, it might not even be good um let's find out mm club Mm -mm. Salad's fresh. The cheese is good. It's um, it's a little messy. Hmm. But the patty is moist. Like yum. Mmm. Mmm. Like that. It's just the seasoning that I put through it, the casem. It's not spicy. I mean, there's a bit of it. There's a bit, yeah, actually, there's a bit of a spice there. Um, it's not spicy, it's not hot. Um, I can taste the garlic, I can taste, definitely can taste the the blend that I put through it, the pizza topper. Look. Like, the burger patty is not like a McDonald's like thick like it's actually melts in your mouth kind of feel of it um and deep fries are fucking amazing I, only five minutes well you cook the burger first like i did two and two and a bit minutes on each side put it in the air fry for five minutes like i say bob's your uncle um you know, it's so good. Go make it yourself. But get the get the mints from your local butcher. Don't get the blue mints from the, your local supermarket. Or, uh, I guess you could get some patties from your market, supermarket, break it all up, um, add the ingredients and then put it all back together again sort of thing, which you could do. I know what I'm having for dinner tomorrow night. I'm having this again. Anyway, and on that note, you know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, share, and I'll see you guys in the next cooking show. I'm going to bring it back. This is just... This is just a preview of what's to come in my new house. Well, actually...
probably won't be this house. It'll probably be the new house I'm building. But nah, we'll see. We'll see what we got. We'll see what we're doing. Maybe a few episodes here. Maybe a lot down there when we, when it gets started. When it gets finished. I've already said my spiel. I'm out. It's been a while since I've done anything on YouTube. Really, gaming or whatever. Uh, and that little episode that I did with the TikTok, um, with the spicy uh, chutney or chutney salsa. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.